Okay, everyone can hear us? Sound check, sound check. Okay. Good morning, Titan. My name is Mr. Jonathan Tan. I am Mr. Yuji Tung. And I'm Mr. Ryan Lo. Now, today we're going to introduce to you a new series of assembly workshops called Tech Talk Workshops. The reason why we created this Tech Talk series is to give all of you an upgrade in your digital skills. We know that students these days are extremely tech savvy, especially when it comes to online gaming and social media. However, what are your digital skills like when it comes to online lessons or even online assignments? And that's where Tech Talk Workshops come in. So the Tech Talk Workshop is a four-part series of lessons where you get to learn more about some frequently used online learning tools and also practice using them. Our hope is that you will master these skills so that interacting online with your classmates and teachers can be an effective and meaningful experience for everyone. So of course, to give you and your class an extra motivational boost, each workshop will conclude with an inter-class quiz. Now in this quiz, your class will compete against every other class in Haixing. And this means that you're talking about ranging from secondary one all the way to secondary five students. And your goal is to get the most number of correct answers within the shortest time possible. At the end of the whole Tech Talk series, the fastest and most accurate classes will set to win a very, very attractive prize. So, if you're ready, let's begin today's Tech Talk. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first Tech Talk workshop. In today's workshop, we're going to be learning about a file format called PDF and how do we create this file. Uh, to understand what is a PDF, we're going to contrast it against a Word document. So I'm going to explain what a Word document is first. Now, a Word document uh, can be told by its file extension. You will see at the end of the file name, this .doc or .docx. Now, the purpose of using uh, a Word document is that you want to be able to create or edit content quite easily. So uh, when a teacher makes a worksheet, or when you are submitting an assignment, you sometimes might receive a Word document and it's used mostly to support written work. Now, one of the difficulties of using a, a Word document is that it requires a license, meaning you have to pay the creator of this program to be able to use it. And not every student may have a license for this. So uh, you might find that it may not be that common for your teachers to ask you to use a Word document to submit your work. What you might find a little bit more common is the request to submit your work in a file format called PDF, which is short for Portable Document File. Now, it's called Portable Document File because it's very easy to be uh, read and marked on different platforms. So that's one of the benefits of a PDF. It does not require licensing. Uh, anybody can, can create and read such files. Now, one of the limitations or benefits, depending on how you look at it, is that the PDF files preserves the formatting of the content. So it's not very easy to edit uh, a PDF file. So just to illustrate for you, I have over here a Word document. And as you can see, it's very easy uh, for me to type in things in this document. I can say this is a document. I'm going to compare that with a PDF file. And you can see, I can't change it so much. Whatever I have written here is fixed. So your teacher might be asking you to submit work in a PDF format. And this PDF can be created not necessarily through a Word document, but also through images. So for that, we have to use what we call a scanning app. Now, a scanning app lets you to uh, take a photograph of your work and convert it into a PDF copy that your teacher can mark. Now here are three very common uh, freeware that you can use to convert your homework into a PDF format. But today we're only gonna be focusing on the use of Office Lens, okay? So now I will pass the time over to Mr. Lok who will explain to you what a good scan will look like. Mr. Lok. Thank you, Mr. Tan for sharing uh, the difference between Microsoft Word and PDF with the entire school. Next, we're going to be looking at the different traits of a well-scanned document. Now, there are a total of four traits that we should take note of 
as we're scanning documents from a hard copy worksheet onto the computer. Now, as I'm going through the four different traits, it will be nice to look at the picture on the left, which is a negative example of what a well, uh, a well scanned document shouldn't be. Now, first of all, there should not be any shadows falling on the document. This usually happens when the person taking the picture has a very bright light source behind him or her, and that casts a shadow on the worksheet itself. And this makes it quite difficult for the person who is reading your work to actually know what you're writing. Secondly, there should not be any bright spots. When you're taking a picture, when you're taking a picture of your worksheet, make sure that the paper is placed on a very even ground so that there will not be any uh, creases that will allow light to be reflected onto your paper. Now, the third, the third trait will, to make, will be to make sure that the borders of your document are well cropped, meaning that all the four edges are very nicely fit into the frame of the picture, okay, such that you do not end up missing things like the top left-hand corner, the first few words. Okay, neither do you want to miss words at the side of the worksheet. Okay, and last but not least, one of probably the most important thing will be to make sure that the text and the pictures that you have on your document can be read. Okay, this means that as you're taking your picture, all right, make sure you steady your hands, take a deep breath, and then you snap the photo. And if you do all that, rest assured, okay, especially when you have office lens with you, you, are now, you will now be able to scan documents that has such high standards. So take a look at the picture on the left now, compare the difference between, notice the difference between this picture and the one in the previous slide. Over here, there are no shadows at all that have been cast onto the worksheet. There are no bright spots. In fact, this picture actually looks like a proper piece of paper. There are no jagged edges. The text is actually framed very nicely into the entire picture and it is not shaky at all, which means that whoever is reading this, in fact, you yourself, as you're looking at this screen, you should be able to read every single word on this piece of worksheet. So with that, okay, we've, come to, uh, we've come to almost the end of today's workshop. All right, so what's going to happen next will be we will show you a video. Uh, a video of how to use Office Lens. Now, here's what you need to know for this quiz challenge. Every class will only have one representative to participate in this quiz challenge. Now, this person, this representative can be the form teacher or can be a student nominee of your choice. Now, of course, this student nominee is not going to be, or this person, rep this representative is not going to be the one playing the game by him or herself. This person will only represent the class in keying the class's choice into the game, which means that every one of you needs to participate. You need to uh, contribute your answers. You need to uh, shout it. You need to contribute your answers. Okay, and eventually the representative or your form teacher will key in the answer onto the game itself. Okay, um, the information to join the quizzes is over here on the bottom left. Okay, so after the video, 
Okay, please go on to my the website called joinmyquiz.com. Okay, enter the code 1386345. As I as I uh, finish up my briefing for the quizzes challenge, it will be it will be great if a representative can write down this information on the whiteboard so that you do not have to refer back to this video again or this PowerPoint slide to check out the details on how to enter the quiz. Now, as I mentioned, uh, like I was saying, one class will only have one person, one account playing, uh, there will only be one account representing one class. Okay, and the scores for each student workshop will be recorded at the end of the session as you are pit against all the different levels in Heising itself. Now, of course, there are uh, at the end of the entire workshop series, okay, not just this game, not just this quiz today, but there will be more coming up. And by the end of the entire workshop series, the class with the highest score will win a grand prize for all your classmates. Okay, so this is something to look forward to. Okay, and with that, uh, I'll let you uh, I'll let I'll end this briefing.